Hi and nice to see you back at Garfin's Creation. Today we'll be making an Indo-Chinese recipe called sweet and sour prawns. Try this recipe once and you'll be making it every time. This delicious recipe is so easy to make and you'll find all the ingredients in the description box below. So let's begin. To start with I have taken one cup of prawns which are cleaned and deveined. To this I'll be adding just half a teaspoon of salt and one small egg. If the egg is large you can use half an egg too. Added one teaspoon soya sauce and one teaspoon red chili sauce. Add two tablespoons of corn flour and now mix it all together. These prawns will be fried in some time. I will also be adding quarter teaspoon of black pepper powder and give it a nice mix. Once mixed well, we will just cover and keep it to marinate for around 10 to 15 minutes. So now after 15 minutes, we will deep fry these prawns. The egg and the corn flour will give a nice crispy coating to the prawns. Just frying few at a time. I will fry them on medium flame for just around 2 to 3 minutes. Don't forget to flip them and fry them till they are nice and golden brown on all sides. The sweet tangy and sour prawns goes well with some fried rice or hakka noodles too. In most Chinese recipes, what takes time is only the preparation time. Once all the ingredients are ready, the recipe hardly takes any time to come together. And now you can see the prawns are getting nice and golden brown. Do keep stirring and flipping them in between and take them out once they are nice and golden brown. These prawns are done and I'll be taking them out and frying the next batch of prawns. These fried prawns are so crispy and yummy you can have them straight away too. They taste like some prawns pakoras. You can eat them as they are too. But wait till the end till we complete the whole sweet and sour prawns recipe. So I finished frying all the prawns and let's get some ingredients ready. We need to chop up some vegetables and keep them ready. I have taken 6 to 7 garlics finely chopped, 1 carrot cubed, 1 small capsicum cube, 2 spring onion bulbs which are also cubed and a little green leaves. Keep this aside for some time and prepare the sweet and sour sauce. For the sauce, I have taken 2 tablespoons of white vinegar, 1 teaspoon of white sugar, 1 chicken cube, which I'll just smash it roughly, 1 teaspoon soya sauce, 2 tablespoons of tomato ketchup. This tomato ketchup gives a nice tangy sweet taste to the sauce. Also, 1 teaspoon of red chili sauce. These are all the ingredients that will go for the sauce. I will just mix it up properly. Don't worry if the chicken cube does not dissolve now. Later on when we heat it, it will get dissolved. So we keep this two aside for some time and prepare the corn slurry. In a separate bowl, take one teaspoon of corn flour and two tablespoons of water. Mix it well and you will get a corn slurry. This will not only thicken the gravy but also add a nice glaze and shine to the recipe. We will mix this well and keep it aside. And now finally let's make the whole recipe. All our ingredients are ready. So now let's start making the gravy. In a kadai I have heated 1 tablespoon of oil. And to this I will be adding the chopped garlic. I will just fry the garlic for a few seconds till they are little brown. Once the garlic get a little brown, I will be adding the chopped onions. The onions are just roughly cubed and made 4 pieces of 1 onion bulb. I have just separated the onion layers. So you get nice cubes from them. And now I will stir fry these onions too for a few seconds. We need to maintain the crunchiness of all the vegetables so we do not need to over fry them. Just after a few seconds 
I'll be adding the carrots. These carrots too have been cubed. Now I'll stir fry these carrots for about a minute. Besides the vegetables I have taken, you can also add cauliflower or French beans too in this recipe. The carrots too have been fried until white and now I'll add the capsicum into it. Fry these capsicums too for a few seconds. They won't take much time. To make this dish even more colorful, you can add red and yellow bell peppers as well. So let this fry and don't forget to stir in between so that the veggies do not get burned. The capsicum too looks done and it is not overcooked. It's now time to add the sweet and sour sauce once all the veggies have been fried. Just add it and give it a quick mix. To make more gravy for this recipe, I'll be adding half a cup of water into the same sauce bowl which we had just used now. Just add the water and rinse it and then add it into the gravy. Just give it a light stir and now we will let it come to one boil. We won't be adding much salt into it. You can check now if you need salt as all the sauces and the chicken cube too had enough salt in it. Don't forget we had already added salt in the fried prawns as well. So just check the seasoning and I've added just a pinch of salt now here. Give it a mix. And now we'll be adding the corn slurry which we had prepared. Mix the corn slurry well before adding it into the gravy. This corn flour paste will add nice shine and thickness to the gravy. Now stir the gravy well and let it come to a boil so that the rawness of the corn flour goes away. So once more the gravy starts boiling. It's time to add the fried prawns now. Add the prawns and give it a nice mix. We will let this simmer for a few seconds only and let the prawns soak in all the gravy and juices into it. Lastly, I'll be adding some spring onion tops over it and mix it. And our very delicious sweet and sour prawns is ready. So now serve the sweet and sour prawns with some nice fried rice or even some hakka noodles will do. You are definitely going to love this sweet and sour prawns recipe. So if you have got some prawns, do try this recipe immediately. I would definitely love to hear from you in your comments below. Once again, thanks for watching and do subscribe to Garfield's Creation. See you soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.